Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Snowfall here in City Skylines where today we are continuing the expansions and hopefully setting up our brand new area with all the infrastructure that we placed in within the last episode. Now, boys, if you are enjoying Snowfall, then make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new on here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But we are back. Boom. We are back, boys. And some exciting things have been kind of happening right now. Traffic is starting to die down right now. Products have been moving about. We built for the first time ever in this brand new industrial area because we realized we have no industrial zoning over on this side, which means all the products are really coming from over to here. Which is probably why we're seeing so much freaking traffic right now. But this is what we built last episode. This crazy kind of... Uh, Kind of like little, what would you call it, like a suburb area uh, in the last episode. And uh, today I want to slowly try and fill it in. I want to kind of build a little bit of a, a park area. Uh, so we can kind of like, you know, gain some extra sweet cash money moolah from other people walking through it. But also to provide some leisure kind of facilities nearby. I've got to sort out the underpasses for this roundabout. Very much like what we've been doing to all the other roundabouts on the other side uh, of the peninsula. So hopefully we can get some more people moving in. So I reckon then, first things first then, we, we take a look to where we can pretty much build uh, the little bit of a city park. So the reason I like doing city parks is because they're really, really simple and effective ways to not only provide leisure to the area around, but also to kind of create money as people have got to walk through them to get from point A to point B. Now, if you also then include something like um, putting a school... Uh, within the park area then you're literally asking for a money printing machine now i'm going to go quite big with this because i feel like it should feel like a nice place to live within this kind of surrounding area and even though the roads do tear through it we can really take advantage of a lot of this stuff so let's start with the side gates and let's start all the way down here now we want to try and maximize how people enter and exit the park area so wherever we can place these in is a big benefit and a big bonus now we also want to try and like kind of combine them together by doing little crossway uh, cross crossways crosswalks there we go to kind of get people from point a to point b and try and do them on the same little kind of section uh, so we can take advantage of it all bam 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 uh, get a few more in here, which would be quite important. We'll get one there, one down there. So you're mainly also looking at where roads connect. I think that would be pretty much good. There's a lot of side gates to kind of work with, but it, 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 should, it should be okay. It should be okay. Now, we'll try our best here to kind of, you know, utilize a lot of the zoning. But sometimes not all of it is going to go to plan. It's not always going to go to plan. And you will lose that in some areas. Now, it will be nice to... This is the thing as well. You've got to try and loosely... Not avoid the zoning. But just to kind of get everything all connected. There we go. Uh, this should be a pretty simple and uh, a fun way to kind of get all this up and running. Or just crisscrossing like this. Because uh, it's all about shortcut routes where people are going to walk. Now, you to there. There and there. So, some of it is just plain and simple. Because we've also got to get a lot of the buildings in that we want to utilize. So, it hasn't got to be a nice design. It's just got to be efficient where I can still try and keep some zoning in place. But if I want to do anything to it. Now, it looks quite funky right now. But it's it's quite quite strategically placed a lot of this stuff so what i'm gonna do right now on each of these little sections here we're gonna implement a crossing now i should be on the road section doing this by the way uh node here i'm gonna make sure that each one's a crossing and the road type would mean that you don't technically see the, the actual crosswalk itself but it is there it is there trust me so it's already set to default now to crossing there's to crossing as well so now, also, we're doing it on these as well. So people on the opposite side of the road can cross right at the gate entrance. Which makes life a whole lot easier 
ticket admin uh, admissions. Got to change that one to across him because that node technically already exists. So it's a lot easier right now to gain admissions to these park areas. And then do there. I think the only one I missed was this one down here. Even though it's quite close to the junction, I'm still thrown in anyway. So there we go. <clears throat> We've now made that as connected as we possibly can. So within the actual area then, we're going to place down a bunch of stuff to kind of really bulk it up its attractiveness. So we can really start to kind of pile in a lot of the uh, visitors into this area. So wherever we can, we'll squeeze what we, what we need in. Uh, a lot of open space here to throw a lot of stuff in. And bam. So the larger stuff will save for the bigger gaps. Makes a lot more sense, that does. So where we don't really have much space, we can find a, a kind of throw in a bunch of... Uh, little a bunch of these little gazebos. <clears throat> the uh, park set there. The trampoline park, which we'll get just here. And that will be fine by me. That will be honestly fine by me. We'll now just kind of finalize it all off with some trees. And then once you've got all the zoning in, this will be a nice green sliver of land going through the city. So, yeah, it's got no power or anything like that. Now, it should have water. Did I do the water? Yes. The power will eventually spread, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm actually going to pause right now. And I'm going to do every single bit of zoning. Which might sound crazy, but I'm doing it, boys. I'm doing it. So, to a certain extent, we want high density, but we also want low density to kind of slowly come out of the city area. Now, we'll create a little bit of a shopping district just here. There we go. Uh, we'll create one just here as well. So, mainly near where the pa uh, pedestrians mainly do all the walking coming through. We'll do some high density commercial now, as in here and here. And then we'll look towards um, low density residential. So swooping this all the way around right now, this is where the majority of it is always going to be placed in. This residential stuff. And any gaps, like how we got a gap in between the zone in here. We can plant down trees that, to again create more beautiful looking green spaces. There we go, there we go. So because it's low density, it really won't, it, it just won't have that much population being held in these. So you don't mind that you are actually placing down a lot of zoning. Now until it's all in, we'll just kind of fine tune it as we go. So all the way down here with the residential, all the way down here. So whatever I don't zone is what I'm going to add in at a later date. Mainly this little buffer bit going around and up to here. We'll add that in at a later date. We'll get some high density residential now. Thrown in just like that. And then we'll pretty much leave it like that for now. So what we'll also do is throw in some of the services too. Now I don't think the power is technically going to spread that well. Uh, to over here. So I'll let it build up first and just kind of see where it bottoms out. But we're going to get in now the underpasses for the uh, roundabouts. Now I've done this everywhere that we've implemented these roundabout systems we've done it everywhere and it's uh, even though it's not slightly perfect but it's just a really really easy way for them to get from one side to the other without having to go through a junction or round the roundabout it just makes life so much easier to kind of navigate this city There we go. There we go. And then we got to do it going on these ways, going up as well. And then um, we're already starting to see vehicles using it right now. One's just gone through there. I think we've just seen one go through this tunnel as well. I could be wrong. Oh, there's a couple of vehicles going through there now. Nice. And then continuing the fashion. And then back up. And then here. La dee da. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that then just helps us out greatly. 
it really does help us out greatly right now with navigating more traffic here there and everywhere right okay so while that does what it's got to do then it's going to start bringing in more residents and more people moving into the area we then got to try and connect up the power now i could do something as simple as just doing some power lines which i feel like that's probably what i'm gonna do here so if i just come down to there and then straight across and that will just do what i need it to do for now it's got all the power and people will move in so the access points for this the, the junction there obviously a junction here and a junction here they're the only access points that we have to navigate to this area now you could kind of count this as well as the underpass there so i'm hoping there's not too much traffic that's going to be implemented we did build this which i thought was quite an interesting junction to the highway i don't know whether i'm going to keep that it was just kind of like a little bit of an experiment but uh, that's the closest access to the highway along with this one over here this little beautiful little trumpet so it'll be interesting to see what kind of happens and how much traffic we see from this um, we're getting to the point where we might be ready to start thinking about implementing and expanding the metro line to over here because we've now got a little bit more going on especially down to the industrial area too so yeah we're going to be thinking about that very soon we are going to be thinking about that very soon but i'm gonna let this area just kind of build itself up now it's all residential and in and um commercial sorry so we don't really have much industrial which is a good thing because i'm waiting for these industrial demands to build up so we can keep filling up these areas here so let's do a little bit more kind of layout um kind of design to kind of cut through that will eventually pass through there so we'll just kind of keep it as it is and i reckon we got by another 10 run this into there and then by here i reckon we'll go to a 15 and then down so it's just about kind of creating areas and bulking up areas and these little spaces here we're perfect for like unique factories and stuff like that that we'll eventually implement but it's all about placing in this dirty industrial right now uh water wise we don't really kind of get great coverage with the water so we just saw that out just there because we need more ways in which where we produce goods on this side of the river that will stop a lot of the imports and exports coming in via ship because we then start to produce stuff a little bit more locally so we'll just see how it goes we will see how it goes easy access points to kind of export the goods so no stress and no dramas now we experimented with this recently which i still need to adjust the train line because it's a little bit too close and it works really really well so i'm thinking about trying to implement another one now we don't really have anything that covers this area over here greatly but i do have this large bit of space the train line tearing through to maybe do something with it it's all dependent on how i can create a connection for it now i could do like an underpass that kind of connects up but again i don't know how this stuff is going to work and how it's going to play out so if i went underground and let's go down to a 10 bring it out just here and then bring it right back to zero there we go and then if i implement a four oh no i didn't mean to do that i meant to do a four by four bend then <laughs> so this is again this is just another little experiment that we're going to try and uh, attempt right now and then run this down to here actually no let me run it to here now i'm wondering if i look towards a one-way system just here now that distance to there is a four now a two by two feels a little bit dramatic but with the space that we've got i'm wondering if i can do a four by four four by four and then kind of create like a little wiggle bend to go back in Now, all this is determining whether this space here is enough to squeeze in a, a, a train terminal. Which, it turns out, it actually is. So, if I placed you there, I've just then got to configure how this kind of connects in. 
Now, what's the best way to kind of connect the train line like that? So, which way do they go in? They go in here, but where do they come out is the question. Okay, so that's actually set up perfectly. So they enter before before they come out. Okay, that works wonders. So that will go to there. We'll obviously flip around. And then with our connection tool, it's a lot to ask for, but I'm going to go for that bend straight away. And... Oh, excuse me, get rid of you. There we go. And then just do a little bit of magic. What I should do is technically add a node here. So bring that back to where that bends and that kind of sucks in. That's a bit better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now, how popular is this going to be? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. So we'll bring this out by a 15. And if we're looking for a... Okay, I was going to say a 6, but that's not really going to work out very well. Oh, we've got that connection there. Does that... Would that do us any favours? It kind of will, that connection there. Because it will also lead in... Right, hold on. A 9... And a 7. Which makes a 16. It's not technically the 21 that we kind of need. So a 9, 19, right, okay, that kind of works-ish. <sighs> ah, I don't know how this is going to play out. It could be a bad idea. It could be a very bad idea. Right, we'll drop a wind turbine because of, I'm going to put it right on the circle here of the road. And uh, does it have water? Almost. I don't know how busy this is going to become. So again, this is going to be another little test. <laughs> we'll see how we get on with this. We'll see how we get on with that. But it could be another way in which we can really aid the connectivity between the areas and the goods that we slowly start to produce. Right, thinking that we might need to move this nuclear pant at this point. Thinking we might need to move it to a more secure location. And, I don't know, this is looking busy here. Do we need to start thinking about putting a roundabout there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, can this fit in here? Do you know what? It almost can. I know this is full of industrial zoning right there. But get rid of you. To bring this up and out. There we go. So that fits there a little bit better. A nuclear plant right next to the airport. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong, boys? <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things could go wrong. Now, it would be nice to see this actually get some use. Now, I feel like the only vehicles that would use this are the ones really connecting to this area so it could be a little bit of a pointless exercise putting that on there but you never know you never know at this point crazier things have happened crazier things have happened so it is looking quite busy right now but again this is just the initial traffic of everybody moving into the area so i gotta remind myself that's what's going on and not to have a mental breakdown right glorious <laughs> Glorious boys. So those demands right now are pretty weak. So it's a case of just now waiting until those demands uh, kind of settled down and everything's all been built. So let's take a first look then at schooling. We have no schools within this area and I feel like we're going to go for some high capacity elementary. Which will throw in, uh, let's say, just here. And then for some high capacity high school, we'll throw in just there. So, both of them slightly increase my capacity, which put them both in the green. I like to place the schools near the park areas, because it then means a lot of people have to walk through the park to get to the school. So I can then charge top dollar bills and become super rich. 
Yay. Capitalism. Where every person is a dollar bill. Yo. <laughs> oh, someone save me. Someone save me right now. Uh, anywho, let's provide all the other facilities as well. So, emergency services, healthcare. I kind of wanted to play with this area over here to do something with it. So, I feel like that's what we're going to do. So, healthcare-wise, let's take a look like a, like a decent size hospital. High-capacity medical helicopter depot. Uh, I think a high-capacity... High... high What's it called again, sorry? High-capacity hospital. Yeah, there we go. That would do really well just here, for example. Back onto there. So, I am going to extend this road. I think I might just kind of try and create a loop. A loop a de loop, a loop a de loop. A loop a de loop, a loop a de loop. Yeah, that works out beautiful. Right, nice. So, healthcare's in. I want to take a look at death care. And that'll probably fall under. I want a cemetery. Not a cemetery, a crematorium. Yo, where, where's the good crematoriums at, boys? Didn't we used to have, like, one that was, like, a, um, like, a piece of land and it had all cool stuff on it? I think that might have been a mod I had at one point. But I can squeeze in a better crematorium. Right, I'll come back to the crematorium first because I want to place in the, um, stuff for the fire services. And the police services. So, fire, fire, fire. We'll drop there. High capacity police station. There we go. We'll drop there. That took a while to get that in. And we'll place down... Um, see, I'll come down here slightly. And we'll place down some crematoriums just here. So have them slightly staggered, and then place down a bunch of trees to fill this area up. So for now, we'll just kind of fill it all up like that. And then just naturally see what happens. But some services now provided more locally. See what happens, boys. Only time will tell if that was a good idea or not. Now, I feel like this road's going to be quite busy in general, just because of the nature of where it's situated. It's the first point of call and exit for people coming off the highway. So it might be a case of where... Again, this is where I, go, I say to myself, Senec, this is just the initial traffic moving in. You don't need to do this. But I kind of do. And what I'm going to do is implement a four-lane road. A slightly chunkier, but not too chunky, four-lane road. And then we're going to sort out... There shouldn't be any traffic lights here. No. And then sort out some lane maps. So you're dedicated to turn here while well, you're dedicated to turn there. You're dedicated to turn here while well, you're dedicated to turn there. This is for straight on. You are for straight on as well. But there's always room for a roundabout if it gets a little bit too tasty. So there'll be some initial confusion right now as everybody tries to sort out what lane they're currently in. But once it's uh, been figured out, it should flow a little bit nicer. But there's always going to be that slight issue. There is always going to be that slight issue. But at least we can try and get, at times, multiple vehicles turning in and out. So give that a little bit of time to pass by. Just give it a little bit of time to pass by. So an actual train has just made it into this station, by the way. And a vehicle... One sole vehicle has now used it. So that's one less vehicle going somewhere else. Yay, it was totally worth the money. <laughs> it totally was, guys, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, how is um, our power and how is our water looking lately? Sewage treatment. I've just kind of spotted this over here and I realized, oh, yeah, we have water and sewage in our city. Maybe we should take a look at slightly expanding them. So, water pipes. So what does that put our capacity to now? A lot higher. 
good stuff. So water's okay at the moment. The sewage was looking a little bit too close for comfort. A little bit too close for comfort. Right, okay. Look how crazy this looks. Right, It looks really good right now, the city does, doesn't it? And this is slowly building up over here as well. So we're getting those commercial demands slowly creeping up again, but we've still got loads of zoning that we are yet to get built. So there's no worries just yet about getting anything done too quick or zoning anything new additional. Now, there's a lot of, there's lots of vehicles using my underpasses, so that's worked out really well as well. That's what it really are. This is now cleared up a bit, so there's a lot more kind of uh, understanding of what's now going down. So this area is building up quite nice. It's looking pretty good. Now, at some point, boys, we're going to start thinking about the next big thing that we're going to add within the city. I want to add in the fishing industry. I also want to add in the farming industry. Now, we've got the wood industry. We've got the oil industry. We've got the ore industry. I'm missing the farming industry and the fishing industry to get in. I also want to implement my very own cargo airport. Which I'm thinking, does it make sense to pull it near the normal airport? Or have it in a completely different area? I'm not too sure on that one. Oh, there's a vehicle coming in, boys. There's an actual vehicle coming in. And another train. Oh, wow, that train's pretty full. So, lots of vehicles coming off this right now. That's really promising. That's quite encouraging, that is. I see all those vehicles getting out of here. I'm quite excited about that. So we'll see what happens in the long run. But yeah, we've still got loads of things that we need to do. Uh, it's just a case of what would you guys rather see first? We've got many, 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 many ideas in which we can now implement moving forward. So this is now starting to get used. This is now starting to get used. So that's that's good. That's real good. So, we're closing in on 100,000 for our population. And it's a case of now just waiting for what we've currently got built to kind of get it all self-finalized. A lot of the industry has now been built as well, so hopefully start producing more goods locally. But then the same problem can happen. They then start sending them over to the other side, so you get you get the, the boat traffic going in both directions. So suppose you can't really win all the time. But we'll give it a good go. <laughs> We'll give it a good go, boys. We'll give it a good go. So, that is now slowly building up. We'll add in a few last couple of trees dotting around here. Just down here as well. It's kind of finalize all that up there. And it's, uh, it's slowly coming together, isn't it? It is slowly, slowly slowly coming together but there's still a lot of things we need to add in so this has been quite exciting i think a train has just arrived because a bunch of vehicles are now coming out quite impressed we'll end it for here guys anyway but we got some big projects planned for snowfall coming up very soon if you did enjoy this smash that like button down below and if you can't wait for those big projects then make sure you subscribe so you get notified when those next episodes do come out but before we do go, how much is this park now making? 2,000 big ones. Yay. Hopefully we can keep pushing it in the right direction as well as more people keep moving in. So until next time, i see you all soon. So goodbye.